I'm Selwyn Cornish. I'm uh, an adjunct uh, associate professor of uh, economics in the School of uh, Economics in the College of Business and Economics. Well, the main task of the Reserve Bank uh, is to contain the rate of inflation. And uh, in 1996, the Reserve Bank committed itself to an inflation target of between 2 and 3 per cent on average over the medium term. Uh, now the rate of inflation can exceed 3% in the very short term uh, but over the what the bank calls the medium term or the economic cycle um, the objective is to keep the rate of inflation between 2 and 3% on average and it's been pretty successful since 1996 in achieving um, its target. Uh, inflation is likely to accelerate uh, when economic conditions are buoyant. In those circumstances Resources are in short supply, there's excess demand in the economy, costs are pushed up, prices are pushed up. And so what the uh, bank does is to use its policy instrument, which is the official cash rate, uh, it pushes the cash rate up in order to cut back the level of demand uh, in the economy and that in turn will push inflation back into the target range of 2 to 3%. Two to uh, the cash rate um, is the rate that banks charge each other on overnight loans. It's a very powerful policy instrument. Uh, it influences all interest rates in the economy. Mortgage rates, rates that um, business firms uh, are charged uh, when they borrow to um, uh, increase uh, their investment in new plant and equipment, factories, commercial buildings and so on. Uh, how does the Reserve Bank adjust the cash rate to contain inflation? Uh, well, uh, what it does is to either increase or reduce the amount of funds that banks have for borrowing. For example, if inflation is accelerating and the bank increases the cash rate, how it achieves that is to cut back the amount of funds banks have for borrowing purposes. Less borrowing, less investment, less demand in the economy, costs and prices will decline. And conversely, uh, if it um, uh, wants to boost the economy, uh, then it cuts the cash rate um, through increasing the amount of funds banks have to lend.